हेलो क्लास सेवन स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू ऑल आर कीपिंग वेल सो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम प्रियंका सिंह योर साइंस टीचर टुडे आई एम हेयर टू स्टार्ट विद द चैप्टर नंबर सिक्स ऑफ साइंस सो द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर इज फिजिकल एंड केमिकल चेंजेस वी सी डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ चेंजेस एवरी डे इन आर सराउंडिंग्स ग्रोथ ऑफ ट्रीज rising of sun setting of sun different shape and size of moon burning of coal paper wood etc are the examples of changes around us as you seen in the pictures are you able to see the growth of trees rising of sun setting of sun burning of wood formation of curd from milk ripening of fruits these changes become noticeable due to one or more of the following changes that are position shape and size color physical state temperature composition structure based on the characteristics the changes can also be classified into physical and chemical changes before we describe these changes recollect about the reversible and irreversible changes you learnt in your previous class reversible and irreversible changes the change which can be reversed by reversing the conditions is called a reversible change some reversible changes are conversion of ice into water by heating and that of water to ice on cooling glowing of an electric bulb stretching of a rubber band plowing a field the change which cannot be reversed even by changing the condition it called an irreversible change burning of paper or wood paper or wood when burnt gives out smoke we cannot obtain paper back from the ash and the smoke so are you able to see the picture what is there in the picture burning of paper is an irreversible change aging of human beings that is irreversible your age you can't reverse your age you can't go back to your childhood now it is a irreversible change aging of living beings we cannot make an old man a child by any method changing of milk into curd we cannot get back milk from curd growth of plants a tree cannot be reversed back into a plant rusting of iron we cannot get back iron from the rust by a simple process so now see what are physical changes the properties such as shape size color and state of a substance are called physical properties a change in which only the physical properties of any substance can change and no new substance is formed is called a physical change examples of physical changes stretching of a rubber band grinding of a substance expansion or contraction of substances on heating and cooling melting of wax formation of clouds magnetization of an iron piece so children these are the pictures in which all these examples are given like stretching of rubber band grinding of a substance sugar is dissolved in water melting of wax formation of clouds and many more hammering of metals to form this sheet like hammering aluminium metal to form aluminium foil stretching metals to form wires like hammering copper metal to obtain copper wires melting of solid on heating and freezing of a liquid on cooling change of chalk stick into chalk powder characteristic of a physical change the changes reversible and temporary we can reverse the change no new substance is formed no loss or gain of energy takes place during a physical change no change in mass occurs during a physical change some typical physical changes some common typical physical changes are described below dissolution of a solid in a liquid is a physical change sugar is sweet it dissolves in water easily a solution of sugar also tastes sweet 
sugar on dissolution does not lose its basic properties an extra mile the process by which in a solute gets dissolved in a solvent is called dissolution so children are you able to see the picture sugar it dissolved in a small quantity of water by stirring a clear solution is obtained solution of sugar when concentrated by heat and cool gives back the crystals of sugar these crystals also taste sweets the sugar the original substance is recovered back from the solution by a simple method during this solution sugar has not lost its sweetness it is recovered from its solution by crystallization therefore the dissolution of sugar in water is a physical change as you seen in the pictures the pictures are showing the solution of sugar is heated slowly in a china dish to concentrate it and in the second picture it is given the concentrated solution when cool gives back the crystals of sugar evaporation or vaporization of water or any liquid is a physical change when water is heated to boiling it gets converted into vapor the vapor so formed when condensed cool gives back liquid water the condensed water has all the properties of the original water so the evaporation vaporization of water of any other liquid is a physical change the slow conversion of a liquid into its vapor is called evaporation evaporation takes place at all temperatures at room temperature it is slow evaporation is faster at higher temperature when a liquid is converted into its vapor as its boiling point the process is called vaporization thus evaporation and vaporization are similar process evaporation depends upon temperature of the surrounding surface area of the liquid wind speed at a place melting of a solid and freezing of a liquid are physical changes when a solid substance is heated it gets changes to its liquid form when a liquid is cooled it gets changed to its solid form solid equals to liquid if solid heat it becomes liquid when liquid cool down it becomes solid during any change or state the composition of the substance remains unchanged there is no change in the chemical properties of the substances the change can be easily reversed by the changing temperature thus melting of a solid and freezing of a liquid are physical changes sublimation is a physical change during sublimation a solid substance when heated changes into water form and the vapor on cooling gives back and the substance in solid form during the change of state there is no change into the composition and chemical properties of the substance the change can be easily reversed by changing temperature therefore sublimation is a physical change chemical change a change in which composition and chemical properties of a substance get changed and one or more new substances are formed is called a chemical change examples of chemical change are rusting of iron burning of candle digestion of food decomposition of water curding of milk ripening of fruit change in color of an apple or a brinjal cut into halves acid based neutralization reaction drying of paint clotting of blood photosynthesis so children as you seen in the picture this is a rusting of iron burning of candle ripening of fruit drying of paint curding of milk clotting of blood characteristics of chemical changes during a chemical change one or more new substances are formed chemical changes are permanent thus a chemical change cannot be reversed by simple physical method during a chemical change relatively large amount of heat light or any other radiation ultraviolet for example may be given out or absorbed for example burning of fuels produces large amount of heat energy in the form of light absorbed by green plants from sunlight this energy is used to make their food during a chemical change both the physical and chemical properties of the substances are changed the following may also be 
are accompanied during chemical change. Heat, light or any other radiation may given off or absorbed. Sound may be produced. A change in smell may take place. A color change may take place. A gas may be formed. Further, almost all the reactions in which combustion or burning takes place represent a chemical change. Some typical chemical changes. Some common chemical changes with their explanation are described below. An extra mile. Tawa, kurpi, kuda. When left in moist air get rusted. Why is the rusting of iron considered a chemical change? When an iron object is exposed to air and moisture, humid air, it gets converted with rust. The formation of rust on the surface of iron is called a rusting of iron. Here, the composition and properties of rust are different from those of iron. Rust cannot be converted back to iron by simple physical methods. So, rusting of iron is a chemical change. Iron, steel, grey, hard, malleable, magnetic metal converted into rust that is rust is radish brown, soft, brittle, non-magnetic, metal oxide. Why is the burning of a candle considered a chemical change? Candles are made from wax and a cotton thread called wick of the candle. During burning of a candle, the molten wax, melting of wax is a physical process, rises through the cotton thread and undergoes combustion to produce carbon dioxide and water vapor. The cotton threads get charred to a black mass. Heat and light are given out in this process. It is not possible to recover the burnt wax, to recover the thread in the original form from the Chert thread. Therefore, the burning of candle is a chemical change. Why is the cooking of food is considered as chemical change? During cooking, many chemical reaction takes place within the food material. The taste and the chemical structure are also changed. It is not possible to get back the raw food or flour from the cooked food. Therefore, cooking of food is a chemical change. Why is the Curding of milk considered a chemical change. During the conversion of milk into curd, many reactions involving protein, organic acids and fat take place. The taste and other properties of curd are different from these of the milk. It is not possible to obtain milk from the curd. Therefore, curding of milk is a chemical change. Now, we will see the difference between the physical and chemical changes. So, serial number parameters, physical change and chemical change. 1. New substance. Physical change, no new substance is formed. Chemical change, one or more new substance are formed. Second, nature of change. It is a temporary change. It is a permanent change. Number 3. Reversibility. Only the physical properties of the substance get changed. Both the physical and chemical properties of substances are changed. Fourth, physical and chemical properties. It is easily reversible by simple physical method. It is irreversible. Fifth, amount of energy in the form of heat, light, etc. Very little energy is absorbed or given out. A very large amount of energy is absorbed or given out. Rusting of iron. Iron objects like iron nails, iron pipes, iron grills, iron railing, etc. when kept in moist air for a few days get covered with brown powdery substance called rust. This process is called rusting of iron. The two conditions necessary for the rusting of the iron are presence of oxygen of air, presence of water or water vapor, moisture. During the rusting of iron, iron metal combines with the oxygen of air in the presence of water or moisture to form a mixture of iron oxide and iron hydroxide. This mixture of iron oxide and iron hydroxide is called rust. The process of rusting can be represented by the following equation. That is iron plus oxygen plus water gives iron plus iron. Methods of preventing rust. Rusting can be avoided by preventing the iron surface from getting exposed to air, oxygen and water. 
given below are a few methods by which we can prevent metal objects from rusting painting painting is a metal surface that prevents it from coming in contact with the moisture and the oxygen present in the atmosphere thus preventing it from rusting applying oil water and oil do not mix applying oil on the metal surface prevents water from reaching the surface thus rusting does not occur galvanizing it is a deposition of a layer of zinc or an object zinc forms a layer of zinc oxide on its reaction with oxygen this layer acts as a barrier between iron and the atmosphere alloying a solid solution of two or more metal or a metal and non metal is called an alloy what are most of the utensils and kitchen sink made up of steel is an alloy of iron and carbon when mixed with other metals like chromium nickel molybdenum and titanium it becomes stainless steel the presence of these metal prevent rusting crystallization sea water contains large amount of dissolved salts since the concentration of these salts is very high the sea water can simply be evaporated to produce crystals of sodium chloride as common salt the process of obtaining large crystals of pure substance from concentrated solution is known as crystallization this method of crystallization separates a pure solid in the form of crystals from a solution crystallization technique is better than simple evaporation technique as during evaporation process some solids may decompose and some like sugar may get changed when solution is heated to dryness some of the impurities are so small that they may remain dissolved in the solution even after filtration on evaporation these contaminate the solid amorphous substances the substance those substances which are powdery and possess no definite geometrical shape are known as amorphous substances example talcum powder crystalline substances those substances which are hard and possess a definite geometrical shape are known as crystalline substances example sodium chloride crystals crystal of copper sulfate now student it's time to readers digest so the change which can be reversed by reversing the condition is called a reversible change the change which cannot be reversed even by changing the condition is called an irreversible change the slow conversion of a liquid into its vapor is called evaporation rusting can be avoided by preventing the iron surface from getting exposed to air and water so students it's time to take your leave we'll meet in the next class bye